What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com and today I got something special for you guys. What's up everybody, it's Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. Today I got something that sounds a little like this. Yeah, buddy. Now, this track, I referenced something off of what a time to be alive. But the reason why we're doing this track is because all of the instruments are stock instruments from Studio One. And on top of that, the instruments right here that are this kind of dark teal color, these are all custom patches that I am going to be giving away for free to subscribers to Studio1Tutorials.com. So all you guys that have already subscribed, I'm going to send you an email with these presets. And for all you new subscribers, um, this is a bonus. If you sign up to Studio1Tutorials.com, we'll be giving you away, I believe it's 25 presets. A little backstory. I linked up with a sound designer. He used to work for IK Media. He did the Miroslav original library. He did Sonic Synth 2. He's done some contact stuff. Really gifted guy. Um, we just kind of sat down and had a little... Um, a little preliminary meeting and I was just kind of throwing ideas at him and then before you know it two hours later we had 25 quality patches yeah we're just gonna start pumping this content out to you so this is the first release from what we're calling my Thai mafia and it has a focus around you know the new trap sound the darker trap sound uh more experimental stuff like uh, you're getting from you know like metro and tm and tarantino and them boys so because I know that's a really popular sound. A lot of you guys like it. And I just want to continue driving the channel to a place to really showcase, you know, the power, the powerful technology that, you know, the Studio One has given to us with these with these stock instruments because they're great. The first patch that we have here is it's not a it's not a custom patch, but I'm going to show you you know just what you can do with uh you know just with stock sounds this um selena string this is in presence and under selena you go to you go to selena space a and selena is it's a uh, it's a synthetic string machine that i guess they multi-sampled and you, when you first hear the sound it sounds like this So, you know, if you hear that sound, you're not going to be like, "Ooh, wow, that's that fire. I got to I got to make sure I put that into my song. But when you go ahead and you turn, you know, you turn your mono mode and you turn your glide on and you go ahead and you draw out these little eighth note slides so that um, 
you know, where each note goes into the next note, you wind up with these really cool glides. So you get that type of vibe. Then I was just going through some of the some of the stock um, plugins that I don't really use a lot, just to see if I could find you know a new type of vibe. And there's this rotor cabinet emulator, and I went to I just went to the easy going preset, and um, I think I tweak I turned the drive up a little bit, but when you put it on top of this on top of this you know um, Selena melody. You get you get the sound like this. Then I just went to the EQ and rolled off some of the highs, and that's you know that's a really that's a really nice lead sound. So just to just to point out, you know, with presence and things of that nature. If you can remember to experiment with things like glide control and, you know, they give you a uh, this attack envelope. You also have an envelope here that you can use to modulate uh, different parameters on the sound, which is which is great. You know, you have LFOs like this is this is a really super decent um um rompler sampler to mess around with if you can just get used to messing with the parameters and tr and trying to get the sound out of it that you want now the the next sound that we kind of have this beat revolving around is this detuned bass and this is bass six this is going to be in in the uh, bass session one folder and i don't think i did any tweaking to it actually i did this sound is going to come with a bandpass filter i changed it to a low pass filter and this is what it wound up sounding like when you added it. Now that's that's pretty cool, um, but I wanted it to have some more bottom, so I took out another instance of Mai Tai. And I just have a sine wave going through the subharmonium character. This this right here, uh, this character menu, this is what really makes this synth not basic. Uh, based off of these different characters, it will it it will affect the waves coming out of the oscillator in a certain way, so that you can further um, color the sound in a unique way so that you don't just have your basic sine saw triangle pulse sounds you could take it you could take it the extra step and this subharmonium then it's all in the name you know it adds it, it adds um you know content to sub sounds so when i went ahead and added that in we got a much fuller effect <laughs> Now for the next section of the song, I went ahead and introduced my pluck, and this pluck is pluck 12. This is gonna be in the pluck sessions one folder. Um, it's a saw pluck. It's got, we've got the cutoff set to the mod wheel. So if you don't like, if you don't like where the filter setting, you just go ahead and move your mod wheel. Actually all of these sounds, um, especially the pads, we you know we took we we took a lot of um a lot of care in giving you control of the filters over the mod wheel so any sound that you get in these um any sound that you wind up using in your productions go ahead and mess around with the mod wheel i think you're going to be pleasantly surprised but here's a sample of this pluck
Now I've got this playing with this piano inside of presence. And this is another situation where, you know, before it was just a regular basic piano. And what I did was I slowed the attack up a little bit and that gave me more of like a piano pad sound. So check this out. Then what I have going on in this envelope is I went and went to the modulation bay and I went ahead and set envelope two to go to my resonance filter here. And what this is doing is over, over time, it's, it's turning the resonance of this filter up, which is giving like this nice high end sweep and it adds movement over time. And when you add movement over time, what you're doing is you're adding interest um, for the listener. And that is what makes your um, mixes and your songs deep and complex. It's little um, subtle decisions like that that will make your music expressive and not static. And that's really what we're going after here. The next sound that we have is this pad that I added in. This is pad two. Um, that'll be in the pad sessions folder. And all I did with this pad is I just took the notes that were playing in the bass line and slid it up a few octaves. That way, when you go from this section to the next, you have, you know, you have some high end content that doesn't make it seem like you're walking into an empty room after hearing that piano. Now that high, that high pluck that you hear coming out of the right speaker, that is this guy, this is pluck seven. I recommend with these plucks, um, the best thing to do to get the most out of them is to stack them in different octaves. So if you find something that you like in, say you're playing in C4 and you like the way the high pluck sounds, then take, you know, take, take that same pattern, copy it, um, bump it down a couple octaves and then scroll through the presets of the other plucks because we really made these so that you could stack them to get a really a really nice uh, deep and cool sound so that's going to be something that you want to do the drums this is what you got So, you know, as you can hear, I mean, it's totally, completely, absolutely 100% possible to go ahead and build an industry quality track inside of this DAW using just the stock instruments, you know, and depending on how far you're willing to push your sound design, you can, you can take it as far as you want to go. You know, you definitely have the tools here. It's just a matter of, you know, learning, but 
if you haven't gotten to that point yet, we got you. Um, Studio One Tutorials and Craftmaster Productions is going to be dropping a lot of sounds. Um, the next pack that we're going to get ready to do is going to be revolving around the new Drake album. We're going to be, you know, we're going to be getting sounds inspired from that when when views from the six drops. Um, but I would like you guys to communicate with me and let me know, you know, what else what else you would like to see because. You know, this guy that that I'm working with, you know, Twitch, he is he he could do, he could do anything for you guys, you know. So go ahead and hit me up on Twitter at Craftmaster C or, you know, send me an email through the website. Let me know what you guys want to see and we're going to go ahead and get it to you. I'm also going to be doing presence presets as well, because it's just going through those sounds. There's so many great bread and butter sounds, but they're not kind of geared towards urban music but you can you can make them that and i'm gonna go ahead and cook some of those up for you as well so yeah go ahead and sign up to craftmaster so yeah go ahead and sign up to studio one tutorials.com upon signing up i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot you over these these presets you know even if you just do the one day tour for 2.99 you know you spend 2.99 you get 25 presets you get to access to all the tutorials and i don't know anybody else who's going to give you that much for 2.99 it's the best deal online right now as far as studio one education so just remember everybody grab the presets sign up to the site get enlightened and keep it simple, but don't be basic. This is Concrete Zebra with Craftmaster Productions and Studio1Tutorials.com. We'll see you on the next one.